Hi, I'm Bob from Hawk Truck Hardware and I thought today we'd do something a little bit different. Um, I'm driving down to meet with a customer this morning uh, and I thought I'd use the time in the car to put together just a little video um, about some of the questions that I get asked, uh, some of the more common ones anyway. I got a lot of emails from you guys um, asking various questions about the Hawk Truck uh, hardware that I make and also about Hawk Truck in general. Uh, and various questions also about mending old organs and what can I do with this, that and the other and how can it all fit together with Hawk's work uh, and with some of the more modern products. So uh, here we go. The first question um, that comes up almost every day is can I fit one of your encoders to my organ but still leave my organ as it is? Can I still leave all the electronics in the organ um, and have it operate solely as an organ or switch it across somehow and, and have it operate with Hawk Twerk. Um, and the answer to that, generally speaking, 99% of the time is a resounding no, you can't do that. Um, and that doesn't just go for my encoders, any of the MIDI uh, encoders that are out there, or any other devices really for converting um, consoles to MIDI, can't really be used in conjunction with what's already in the organ. Now, I'm sure somewhere in the world there's, there's an organ that they can be used with, um, and that's just there to prove me wrong as these things go, but 99% of the time you can't do it. And the reason that you can't do it is that the organ itself is going to have its own scan matrix. Uh, it's going to be checking all the different keys uh, in pretty much the same way that our encoder does. Um, if you've watched the video on uh, the Universal MIDI encoder, uh, there's a bit in there that tells you how it works and, and how it scans the keys. And your original organ will be doing something similar, um, if it's a digital organ. So you can't really get the two to work together because when my one is scanning something with a with a logic level one, for example, uh, the original organ's almost certainly at some point going to be scanning it with the opposite, um, and the two would just interfere with each other, um, and, and it just wouldn't work. It's a bit like two people having a conversation with two mouths and no ears. Uh, it just isn't going to work that way at all. Um, could you do some sort of switching arrangement? Not really, because you would need to switch all of the devices, all of the controls of the console, either between their original um, functions and their original connections, or with um, the, the new encoder. So um, that's not really an option either. The only way it could be done, um, and it would be a huge amount of work, so whether it would really be worthwhile, I'm, I'd have my doubts. Um, it could be done by having two conversions to your organ. Firstly, um, if you imagine disconnecting all of the keys, all of the stops, all of the controls, um, and then in their place put in a whole bunch of solid state switches. Uh, so, I don't know, what would you have, two, three hundred, something like that, solid state switches. You could connect those to a MIDI decoder, um, and that would then allow you to play your organ from a MIDI source. Uh, and I, I actually did that to um, a, uh, a Yamaha, I um, can't remember what it was now, it was a three manual jobby, uh, which I did that to quite some time ago, four or five years ago. There's a video uh, on YouTube about it, not on this channel, it's on my personal channel. Um, and I can't for the life of me remember the modern number of the organ. It was a Yamaha organ and I converted it to MIDI uh, so that you could play that organ from a MIDI source. Now if you did that, and then you took all of the switches and everything and the keyboards in your organ that you'd disconnected um, from the electronics, so the things that you'd replaced, if you want, uh, with solid state switches. Then you could connect those to the MIDI encoder. Okay, so what you then end up with is a MIDI console, so when you press a key on your keyboard or whatever, it's connected to the MIDI encoder, it generates a MIDI note on, note off pair for whatever note it might be. Um, and then, when uh, then you would connect the output from your MIDI encoder to the MIDI decoder uh, instead of connecting it to Hawk's work and then um, it would obviously work that when you press the key it would operate uh, the, um, the organ in, in the way it used to but that is a huge amount of work because you're not only doing the job twice um, you've got to be quite careful to work out uh, exactly how 
the original circuit worked so that you can use the right type of switches, you can connect them in the right way. Uh, the organ I did um, was a bit of a cop out to be honest. I just used ordinary mechanical relays uh, simply because the way the circuit worked, solid state switches weren't really an option. Um, it was the last of the analog organs. It was a D85, and that was it, the Yamaha D85, last of the solid state um, organs. Um, and I actually used uh, mechanical relays for that, which obviously were noisy, um, but if you were just recording the output or something, it wasn't the end of the world. So that's what I did with that, and it is possible. Anyway, that's the first question. I've arrived at a petrol station. I need some fuel, so um, we'll carry this on in a little while. Okay, so we're back from our fuel stop. Um, so, yeah, as I was saying, um, generally speaking, 99 times out of 100, you cannot have um, or install a MIDI encoder to work alongside the existing electronics in your organ. Um, and if it's an analog organ, um, in any, well, probably older than anything before about 1980, um, it's probably going to be 100% analog, uh, then you definitely can't do it because it uses higher voltages and uh, a different way, um, completely different way of scanning the keys. It doesn't actually scan them in the way that, uh, well, it doesn't scan them at all, actually, in the way it works. So that's not really an option. 